One day, we might need a blood transfusion to compensate for lost blood or fill in an imbalanced component in our blood system. But if you get the wrong blood type, it can be quite dangerous. Transfusion of the wrong blood type, a potentially fatal mistake that can occur at any stage of transfusion. This video will discuss the risks and consequences of transfusion of the wrong blood type, the causes and management of these events, and the measures taken to prevent such errors. Let us begin by briefly explaining what is a blood transfusion. A blood transfusion is a medical procedure in which blood is transferred from the donor to the patient. It can be used to treat various medical conditions including anemia, a disease in which the body does not produce enough healthy red blood cells, severe bleeding, and hemophilia, a genetic bleeding disorder in which the body does not clot properly. Transfusion can also be used to replace blood loss during surgery or after an accident. The procedure entails drawing blood from the donor and injecting it into the recipient's bloodstream via an intravenous line also known as IV. Blood transfusion can save lives and improve the quality of life for many people suffering from certain medical conditions. Now let's talk about what happens when the wrong blood type is inserted. Let's mention first the main blood types A, B, AB, and O. If you have type A blood, your red blood cells have proteins called antigens attached to them. B antigens are carried by type B blood cells. Type AB contains both A and B antigens, whereas type O contains neither A or B. Your immune system will create antibodies against any blood antigens that you do not have in your blood. People with type A blood produce antibodies against B antigens. An ABO incompatibility reaction is a medical term defined as follows. When a person with one blood type receives blood from someone of a different blood type, their immune system may react. For instance, if a person with type A blood received a transfusion of type B or AB blood, your immune system attacks and destroys new blood cells during an ABO incompatibility reaction. If you have both A and B antigens, your blood type is AB. This means you are a universal recipient able to receive any blood. However, you can only donate blood to people of type AB. You are a universal donor if you have type O blood containing no antigens. You can give blood to anyone without inducing an immune response but you can only receive type O blood. Your doctor will determine your blood type before a blood transfusion. A small sample of your donated blood will be cross-matched. The two blood samples are then mixed and observed for a reaction. This allows your doctor to ensure an incompatibility reaction does not occur. If the wrong blood type is inserted, it can lead to a serious medical complications, in extreme cases, even death. When the wrong blood type is inserted, the body's immune system will recognize the foreign blood and produce antibodies to attack it. This process is called hemolysis, and it can cause the red blood cells to break down. As a result, the patient may suffer from anemia, jaundice, which is the yellowing of your skin or the whites of your eyes. It could indicate something more serious, like liver disease. Also, the body might suffer kidney failure, and other health issues. Sometimes the patient may even suffer from a fatal hemolytic transfusion reaction. Healthcare professionals must carefully check the donor's and recipient's blood types before the procedure. They must also use anticoagulants or other precautions to prevent the wrong blood type from entering the body. This is why ensuring the correct blood type is used for the transfer is crucial. If the wrong blood type is transferred, taking swift action to treat the patient and minimize potential risks is vital. So what are the leading causes of wrong blood type transfusions? The leading causes of wrong blood type transfusions can be attributed to several factors. The most common cause is human error, where a healthcare professional incorrectly identifies the patient's blood type and mistakenly transfers the wrong blood. Another cause is clerical errors where the wrong blood type is entered into the patient's chart 
leading to an improper blood transfer. The third cause is the incorrect labeling of the blood bag, where the wrong blood type is identified on the bag, leading to a wrong blood transfer. Finally, it could occur due to a miscommunication between the blood bank and the healthcare professional. These factors can lead to an incorrect blood type transfusion, which can have severe consequences for the patient. Ensuring all personnel involved in the blood transfer process are appropriately trained and knowledgeable about the different blood types and their associated antigens and antibodies are essential. Proper education and training can help reduce the risk of wrong blood type transfusions. Here are some tips to avoid getting the wrong blood type. 1. Make sure your doctor has the right information about your blood type. 2. Ask the doctor or nurse to check your identity bracelet or medical records against the blood type and other medical details on the blood bag. 3. If the blood is not being given immediately, make sure to check the blood bag and the label on the bag to make sure it matches your identity bracelet or medical records. 4. Ask the doctor or nurse to double check the blood type with blood samples before the transfusion starts. 5. Never accept a transfusion without verifying that the blood has been tested for compatibility and cross-matched with your blood type. Thank you for being with us on this episode of Fancied Facts. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming exciting and informative new episodes. Take care and enjoy your day.